Hey y'all, I'm back with another one late at night. I'm trying to figure out what color should I do this. Red light special. That's one of my favorite colors. Okay, here we go. I'm using one phone to record, the other phone to deliver the news. This is this shit funny. You guys have to tell me. What do you think of this? I will my skin cap. What a weird cap for this one. The ethnics of organ donation from condemned prisoners. Rationale for deliberation. Do you understand that they want to to bring it up you know some experts think that in the eyes of the law let me take this off because i feel stupid i'm not no criminal that they should in the eyes of the law that they should uh, be able to Put people organs and stuff on the line. Okay, here we go. This is actually in Parchman, Mississippi. I know a lot about Parchman. Don't ask me how I know. I know. I lived in Mississippi. I lived in Jackson, Mississippi. I lived in Canton, Mississippi. And I also lived in Vicksburg, Mississippi. I worked in Madison, Mississippi. I also Worked in Jackson. Oh, so I could go on and on when it comes to Mississippi. They're trying to figure out whether to allow death row inmates to donate organs. It's, it's a more complex issue than meets the eye, some experts say. The Mississippi law does not exclude that. It doesn't specifically exclude inmates donations, but more an ethical question seems to keep the practice on ice. About 1,500,000 1, people across the country are on the transplant list, allowing inmates to donate their organs has the potential to save some of these lives, according to a report in the National Institutes of Health. PubMed Central. The author, based on research from a number of medical professionals, says the argument for allowing death row inmates to donate organs is simple. It's very simple. So what they say, the center of attention in my mind should be the patient and how we as the healthcare providers can help them. Okay, they talking about uh, to consider if they would donate their organ or bone marrow and get time off or get off death row. We're gonna end this conversation right quick. And I'm like my mushroom pie for this one. It's so needed. It scully cap. Scully. Scully. Scully, scully. Do y'all know? It's a lot that go into that organ shit. It's a lot. If y'all actually want, you know what? All I'm going to say is, for the people that don't believe what I'm about to say, look up. It's called when the owner, the, the, the organ donor gives them they, they organ and they, the person died. Guess what happened? They start getting flashbacks, cravings, and all of this kind of stuff. Yeah. You have a rotation of people that's being born out this now and now. I have to say, with that being said, I will literally have to meet that person. Because <laughs> what if you, you know what I'm saying, you give me, now you be like, shit, I ain't got no heart anyways, take my heart. Now you willing to live with a mechanical heart, you know what I'm saying? What if you hot, cold, like? You always no compassion, no empathy. And 
somebody put that in them, then they got your way. It's your energy. I say that don't sit right. My opinion, and I'm sticking to it. I'm not going to lie. Like a whole organ. I got to say this because every seven years, your cells completely become new. Not no organ. What they going to do next? Well, every 51 got all of the secrets. I need a torch. If y'all feel y'all can help the system, hit me up. Email me at pecantan at gmail.com. I mean, pecantan39 at gmail.com. P-E-A-C-A-N-T-A-N-N 39 at gmail.com. I'd be more than happy to take the torch instead of this petty lighter. People miss the organs, so I ain't even want to give up organs. You had that shit in that. If, you know what? Let me shut up. Because they be like, oh, you give them your liver or one of your lungs. And we gonna give you life instead of the death penalty. What if you die? This song from Chapter Drone.